I know I hid under sunglasses today. I'm like, fuck it. We're under quarantine. Speaking of quarantine, I do want to ask you, everyone's been kind of, and I understand how hard it's been for a lot of people, but what is the, the silver lining for you? What is one good thing that has come out of this quarantine for Erica Jane so far? Uh, Tom and I spend a lot of time at the kitchen table chatting. And so that oh. Wow. Yeah. You know, I was gone for four months because I was in New York, you know, doing Broadway. Chicago. So I came home and then the whole world kind of came to a screeching halt. Tom and I have a, and we go to bed early, which is, I know kind of lame, but at the same time, kind of nice. So it's been fun. Oh, and, and there's a lot of couples and we've talked about it and I've played TikTok videos of couples, you know, fighting and getting on each other's nerves, even in a humorous way. Um, does that happen at all? Well, During sure. We've been married for 20 years. Of course, we get on each other's nerves. But um, lately, we've been okay. I mean, it's fun. I We actually, maybe it's because I had a four-month break. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But so far, so good. I mean, we haven't been ready to kill each other. Oh, I love that. And and you, I know that in the last episode, um, mm. the I know sex is always brought up and you're like, why do people constantly want to know about our sex life? Does it drive you crazy? And why do you think people want to always ask that? No, it doesn't drive me crazy. I certainly understand. I think people, it's so cliche, you know, the younger woman, the older wealthy man, here you go. Uh, I do find it a little interesting that it is continued but I guess because it's a 20 year old story for me and not for right. others, but you know, and then to know, you know, like what's your sex life about, eh, whatever. I mean, it's one of those things. Yeah. They don't ask about other housewives, sex lives. That's the interesting thing though. You know, they it's did never ask about Lisa and Ken. They never <laughs> asked about Doreen and what was, uh, well, I, did ask, I did ask, you did, I asked Lisa, you did, but I you did. don't see it out there no, the same way. I got her you don't see it out on. there. But, um, you know, there, there was a, uh, moment too, in this episode that, you know, you were very vulnerable and started crying when your husband mm. said, I'm proud of you. And I was like, Oh, oh that was deep. I could feel that. I'm sure a lot of people that just need to hear that from their loved one. Was it something you needed to hear from him? Or was it an echo you needed from the past, the the child of Erica that didn't? Go? Uh, Jenny, honestly, I think it's both. I think that, you know, um, it's always good. To, it's both. I mean, I needed to hear it from my partner now who's believed in me and supported me and been there for me when no one else was. And also too, the little girl inside that, you know, I think that we, as children, seek approval from all of our, you know, relationships. So it was both for me. If I were to be totally wow. honest, you know, it was a it was a great moment, uh, just you. for for what it's worth to see that, and in it, it it tells a lot. I think your your answer was very honest, and I think it's probably accurate judging from the outside. I don't know you that well to say that, but you know, it is probably some of the past, but it also speaks volumes about the relationship, you know, that there is a thing that you guys have and every relationship has it. And I think if that, that scene to me goes a long way to ending any of the questions, you know, it's like, I'm sure in a lot of ways, your husband wants you to be proud of him and you would like him to be proud of you. And there in that moment, you can see this connection that you both have something, you know, and are both sort of looking for something and give it to each other. And it's, it was a, just a really sweet moment. And Jenny, in fact, rewound it and said, let's watch that again. <laughs> and we watched it again and it was really touching and, um, and very, very nice to see. You know and what I, else I liked about it? Besides you getting exactly what you needed to hear. And it was so moving. I loved when moments like this happen on television. And I love that it happened in, during your scene, but it also reminds couples oh, look how important it is to say mm -hmm. to your partner, look how important it is to remind my spouse of 20, 30 years and to say the words, I'm proud of you. That's you know, right. it's true because we forget sometimes if you've been married that long. Right. Of course. And, you know, I'll be honest, you know, when we went to, you know, shoot that scene, that came, it was like vomit coming out. Like it literally flew out of my mouth and I could not hold it back. And I remember, you know, just when it was over, and just feeling like, oh my God, I'm either going to love this or hate this. Like my whole heart just came, you know, mm. out on the table. So I'm glad to see that people really saw a very um, true moment between Tom and myself. It's, um, you know, relationships are always judged and people are always judged. And for that split second, you got to see who we are, you know, so yeah. there you go. It is beautiful. You and know, all the housewives, I'm sorry, Jenny. Okay. 
all the housewives, a lot of you guys, especially in, 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 um, in, in Beverly Hills, you guys stick with your men. And it's nice to see because, you know, it, it, the cliche of the younger woman with the older guy who's successful, you're supposed to be out the door by now. And you're not. Oh, I'm you guys supposed are, to have been long out the you're door. You're supposed to have been gone. You <laughs> got famous. You're successful. You're supposed to be running for the hills. And 20 years later, it only takes 10. It only takes 10. And only you're still 10, there. And it's true. a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. It just, it just was such a great scene. I don't mean to rehash it and be redundant about it. But I just, I just want to say to anyone out there, like, it's like, that was awesome to watch, especially during this hiatus when t- marriage tensions are so high. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jen. I really, really, really appreciate it. Again, like I said, you know, you really saw a very honest moment. And when it happened, it was so, you know, the emotion got me and there it was. And so that was one of my uh, better moments on reality TV, I must say. You know, is it scary, though, to be vulnerable? I know you've cried oh, twice God. so far. Is it? Is it scary? I didn't want to do that. You know, I don't, I don't want that because those are, I don't know. I mean, I guess for me, um, you should be open, but at the same time, those are very private things. And so I'm just glad that people saw it the way it really is, you know, and it's hard to be vulnerable because you're, you know, as a housewife and even as anyone in public life, you're so harshly criticized a lot. So, you know, when you lay your heart out there, it's tough. It is tough, but it's also interesting how people react the opposite of sometimes what you'd think the times where I've been vulnerable, where I think I'm going to be killed, people would relate to it and it would help them. And I'm like, Oh shit, authenticity, <laughs> me yeah. being vulnerable yeah. and scared can work. Do you notice? Cause I've seen it. And I think two people watching that this, this Erica Jane evolving spiritually, like you had to come on the show and I understand I would come on the same way tough, but now we have seen this kind of, evolving do you feel it spiritually well i feel like that that, listen, like you come, when you come into a, a group or a show or something like this you know you do you do need to you know not be a fool and, and be be very aware of your surroundings at all times um and then once you gather a certain amount of trust and i really do like these women that i work with and they've been very good to me and we've gone through some um tough times together and building the show and things like that that you, you're you more willing to be open. And that's the only way I can describe it is that, you know, you, you're the more you trust and the more you know them, the more willing you are to be open. 